Greetings and welcome to our 4-H graphic design judges orientation. First off, we'd like to say thank you for supporting 4-H. 4-H is a youth development organization that empowers kids through hands-on learning experiences and helps them find their passions and interests through projects. Judges are a critical part in providing feedback to youth as they progress through their projects and develop mastery. The graphic design contest was created um, in the last five years and youth are able to submit either a brochure, a flyer, a PowerPoint, and there's also an other category, which is just about anything they can imagine. Now, there are no hand-drawn entries that are allowed and the use of copyrighted or protected characters or logos is prohibited. And we do say that sources of information should be cited. 4-H uses the Danish system of scoring. Unfortunately, it's not that type of Danish. Now, in this system, judges aren't comparing one youth's entry against another youth's entry. Instead, they're looking at that entry and seeing if it meets a set of standards. This means that in the Danish system of scoring, um, multiple youth can receive a blue ribbon, a red ribbon, or a white ribbon. In 4-H, our scoring rubrics state that if a youth's rubric is 90 to 100 points, they have a blue ribbon. If it's 80 to 89 points, they receive a red ribbon. And 79 points or below receives a white ribbon. Now, youth that are participating at the clover bud level will um, only receive a participation ribbon. Those are our youth that are five to seven years old and they're still learning how to participate. Youth participating in the graphic design contest, if they receive a blue ribbon, um, advance directly from the county level to the state 4-H contest. So any youth who receives a blue ribbon that 90 to 100 points will advance from the county level to the state level contest. An important element of judging is providing feedback. So we do ask that our judges um, write and give constructive comments and suggestions. All of our contests are designed to be educational events where youth are learning and growing. We want to focus on some positives and be specific. If there's a challenge that you notice, then give some solutions and avoid using words like always or never or ever or loaded words um, and mix kind of some criticism with praise. We recommend the sandwich method, which we'll talk about in a moment. Take a look at these examples of ways that you can rephrase some comments to be constructive while also being positive. We do recommend that sandwich approach to giving feedback. And that means using a positive criticism along with something that you can improve, improve and then followed by something else that's positive. will provide a score sheet to use as a rubric for evaluating these graphics. Take a moment to look at the descriptions on each event that you'll be judging and the scorecard. You're going to want to make sure that you fill in all of the blanks and that require a numerical score and be sure to check the addition of your scores before you enter them. Let's take a look at the rubric. So this is the graphic design score sheet. And you'll notice you'll be able to check off which age division the youth is in, as well as which of those classes they've entered, brochure, PowerPoint, flyer, or other. There are five major categories for you to evaluate. The first is font style and graphics. Next is flow of design, color, educational components, and clear delivery of messages. 
some of those categories are broken down into some subcategories and you'll see the possible points that you can award for each. There's also a place for you to give some feedback and remarks. Once again, that blue ribbon level is indicated at the bottom of the rubric. That's 100 to 90 points, red 89 to 80, and white 79 and below. Thank you again for taking time out of your day to help provide our youth feedback and help them improve their graphic design skills. If you have any questions, reach out to our office.